In September 2022, six months into Moscow's full-scale invasion of Ukraine, a Russian company called Silver was registered in the remote eastern Siberian region of Buryatia. In the first half of 2023, it submitted import filings for 100,000 helmets from Shanghai h -Win New Material. Later, in August, the same company imported an unspecified number of radio telemetry systems used for tracking drones from Hubei Xingzhou Myotech Intelligent Technology. The findings suggest further evidence of a flourishing new trade relationship between Russia and China, showing how Moscow, while isolated from the West, is able to sustain its war against Ukraine. None of the companies mentioned responded to CNBC's request for comment on the trade flows. In 2022, total bilateral trade between Russia and China hit a record high of $190 billion, up 30% from 2021. 2023 is set to eclipse that figure, with total trade hitting $134 billion in the first seven months. That is prompting concern from Western officials who say the economic boost and the trade of specific goods is giving Moscow a helping hand in its war. I think there's no question that the Chinese authorities are aware of the trade flows. Uh, they're large enough that they could not continue without the acquiescence of the Chinese government. An unclassified US intelligence report released in July of 2023 said that China has become an increasingly important buttress for Russia in its war effort probably supplying Moscow with key technology and dual-use equipment used in Ukraine. Dual-use goods are those with both civilian and military applications, including drones and semiconductors, both of which have proven vital to Moscow's military arsenal, powering equipment such as radios, missiles and armoured vehicles. Data shows Chinese exports of such goods to Russia have been on the up since the onset of the war. In 2022, China sold more than $500 million worth of semiconductors to Russia, up from $200 million in 2021. Chip sales from Hong Kong to Russia also doubled over the same period, while imports from the West slumped. As of March 2023, China has sold more than $12 million worth of drones to Russia. Beijing has so far resisted condemning the war, while insisting that its trade with Moscow constitutes normal economic cooperation that targets no third party. When contacted, China's Commerce Ministry referred CNBC to an earlier response in which it dubbed its trading relationship with Russia as one based on mutual respect and mutual benefit, in which both win. At the beginning of the war, when the West instituted a wide variety of sanctions, it was believed that the Russians would be unable to continue manufacturing these weapons. But with the support from the Chinese, particularly the chips, but other elements also, they've been able to continue that production so that missiles that Russia is firing today were produced maybe two or three months ago with materials that China had supplied. Among the companies connected with the sales is Chinese drone company DJI, which provided an unspecified number of drones to Russia from September 2022 to January 2023, according to Russian customs filings. That's despite DJI saying that it had voluntarily suspended all sales to and business in both Russia and Ukraine as of April 26, 2022. One of the recipients of the drones is Moscow-based Nebesneya Mechanica, which roughly translates as Heavenly Mechanics. Before the war, the company was DJI's official distributor in Russia. Another recipient, Rostov-on-Don registered Positron, also imported more than 54,000 helmets, either construction or military, according to the vague wording of the filing, from Chinese suppliers Liaoning BNR Technology and Beijing KR Natural International Trade Co. in late 2022. When presented with these Russian customs filings by CNBC, DJI said its distributors, resellers and other business partners must commit in writing and periodically certify that they block the sale of its products or spare parts to customers in Russia and Ukraine, regardless of intended end use. However, the company noted that it is not in its power to influence how their products are being used once they leave their control. It remains unclear to what extent Chinese authorities are aware of or implicated in the trades, especially since the items are dual use. 
Meanwhile, Washington and the EU have both been reluctant to accuse Beijing outright. However, analysts say there is little indication that Beijing is clamping down on the trade. Indeed, Kyiv has reported that its forces are increasingly finding Chinese components in weapons used by Russia's military since April 2023, building on the No Limits partnership that was announced by Russian President Vladimir Putin and Chinese President Xi Jinping right before the Ukraine war. Exporters in China who export to Russia are, are not going to receive penalties for doing so, so long as they don't explicitly violate Western sanctions and don't you know, provoke additional tensions with the West, so long as they can keep these exports quiet, they seem to be at little risk of provoking the ire of the Communist Party. Meanwhile, others say the irregular import patterns suggest there is opportunism among businesses on both sides as they seek to take advantage of Moscow's military needs. What we are seeing is that Chinese companies are selling to Russia, but they maybe can't sell in China at a higher price. It's not the big exporters in China exporting this. Instead, it's these small companies. Still, the trade flows from China to Russia could have significant long-term consequences for Beijing's slowing economy. Already, the US and several Western allies have restricted the trade of certain sensitive technologies to China as part of a wider de-risking from the country. China would prefer for Russia not to lose, but they would prefer not to get involved. There could be arguments to send weapons, and there has been intelligence around maybe they want to send weapons. But also, they are very, very careful to stay below the sanctions. Western allies now face a difficult decision. Either target individual sellers, knowing the impact may be limited, or take action against Beijing with potentially wider repercussions and risks of retaliation. If China were to openly support Russia, there would be huge ramifications for the totality of Beijing's economic, political and security relationship with the Washington and Brussels-led uh, Alliance of Democracies.